Jam made with the local Live Valley Damsons. Uh, great taste award this year again, two stars. It's delicious. It's all made in the kitchen here in Stoveley. The damsons have been boiling, now we're going to take it out of the pan, we're going to strain the stones out because we always make the damson jam with the stones in because you get more of the flavour coming through. We'll get 300 jars from this making today and then they'll go on to be sold at farm shops, delis. I'll sell them at shows and events. I'll sell them in our shop here. I moved to Stavely 10 years ago. It's just got everything that you want from the village. The pubs, food, the shops, and it is just a little hub. Stavely is definitely open for business. Yeah, we're based at the UK's largest hiking store. We've been in existence for the last 25 years. Uh, we're based here in Stavely, which is the true destination for cycling. It's a real good hub of cycling. We've got loads going on. We've got the hills, obviously, we've got the Lake District and um, it's become a real mainstay of the, of the cycle, um, cycle industry. We do road, mountain and leisure bikes. We've got 600 bikes on display here across a huge uh, floor space uh, and we'll attract people from you know, two, three hours away all over the country.
Peter Holmsam is a high quality furniture making business which also branched out into furniture restoration, traditional and contemporary upholstery, interior design and wood turning. The main core of the business is still making furniture but we have three people employed in restoration and that's a very busy department as we look after the uh, furniture in the, for the National Trust in the north of England. These are some marketing panels that we, we bought with um, a job lot of veneer. Very unusual because they're dated anywhere from 1909 to 1912. And we know that by the newspaper on the back. We've been asked by clients to make some special pieces to reflect these very, very rare find. I'm scraping the uh, original paper um, off the veneer that have been used for holding it all together over the years. Once we've finished scraping it, we sand it very carefully because it's only uh, 0.6 millimetre thick. It's nerve wracking. Um, when you're using any veneer, it's always really work nerve wracking because of the, the thickness of the veneer. Um, but just the experience over the years, you try not to sand uh, to sand through it. Once you've got a finish on, really bring the, the colours out of the, um, the marquetry uh, and the open the wall. As you inhale, arms travel up. Exhale, arms travel down. Two more rounds. Soften the corners of your mouth as though there's a little smile to the breath. As you exhale, left hand down, right arm up. Inhale, arms lift up, look forward. Here in 1997, car park with a mud bath. There was only wheelbase here, but we, we thought we could to go. We've been able to grow sort of fairly organically. You know, we started off in one room only, and as you can see, we've uh, sort of grown. Staveley was quite busy even then, and we thought it was a really good village to sort of start off in. The food we offer, uh, we hope, is affordable, homemade, and available to everybody from families to you know, young kids to outdoor people. Um, and they don't have to make it too special an occasion to come here and have lunch. Want to go? Our customers are an amazing eclectic mix. We have a lot of locals, they keep us going in the winter. They can be outdoory people, they can be families, they're just groups of friends. And although we sometimes have a queue to order at the counter, we quite often find that people start chatting in the queue. So there, it's a huge range of people, it's great. We started back in 2002, uh, funnily enough, back in Hawkshead, 
um, but very quickly outgrew the barn and the space we were in, so moved to Stavely, onto the mill yard. Back then, the yard wasn't as busy, but now it's a real hustle and bustle of little businesses, lots of people, so lots of t tourists come here every day. We've usually got at least eight or nine different beers on. Uh, we all brew here. Um, the Windermere Pale, I've got to say, has got to be a favourite. Um, really light, very hoppy, citrusy. On a, on a hot day like today, it's perfect. We're looking at maybe brewing 10 different beers uh, regularly and we do a lot of one-offs, experiments, seasonals on a rainy day, which happens a lot in the lakes. There's nothing better to spend a day in a pub. You do get a lot of people that see the sign on the road and think, oh, there's a brewery here. You'll find they'll pop into the brewery, have a pint, then they might go next door to the bakery, buy some bread and even pop into the bike shop here. Stavely is definitely open for business. Um, there's a massive community spirit. We're on the main rail route, the bus route. You don't always have to drive, um, so come on down to Stavely. We'd just like to proudly say Stavely is open once again. I love Stavely. Great pint as well. Sta Stavely for life. Ah! <laughs>
I specialise in restoring antique beds. I do a lot of the work in-house on the brass and copper side. Through that, got into doing uh, lighting and, uh, and other brass and copper pieces, you know, fireplace pieces, coal buckets, etc. This is a fabulous chair made by a company in Birmingham. Um, they had an outlet in London called Winfield. I've restored this and we've used a killing rug to uh, uh, support the fabric. Perfectly balanced. As the antique side has built up um, and, and proven quite popular, we've now moved into doing new ranges alongside that, which is you know, more in tune with things that are happening nowadays and you can mix old and new together very well. And of course, people come into the cafe, which is quite successful and, uh, and you know, that's building as well. Mm -hmm.